you think this defensive back group could be one of the best in the league and maybe the country? Y'all have so many veterans back. Yeah. Um, I think the um, corners and safeties are just working super hard and everybody's just competing just daily, just getting better and just going hard and working. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, y'all gained a lot of experience last year. I guess obviously that has helped quite a bit. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, me, Kaylin, Christian, uh, so many guys have gained experience and just every day just keep getting better. So it's just super fun and I just love going out and just competing. Raleigh coming into your I guess, third year as a starter, about eighth year here at Baylor. Um, what do you need to do to maybe take that next step to, to get better, even better than you've been? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, to take that next step, it's just coming to practice, just working, just getting better every single day, just kind of honing in on the details and just just continually just just work on my craft, work on my footwork, work on my speed, and just all that stuff will continually help me uh, make that um, that jump. Did I see, are you almost finished with your master's degree now? Too? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like December? Yeah, no, 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 next spring, next spring. I'll be finished yeah. in sports pedagogy. Sports. Yeah, so coaching and teaching, it's been super fun, and I'm just grateful to be here at Baylor. I've had so much fun. What's it been like uh, with Kevin Curtis, getting to know him? What kind of been some of the changes from, from a year ago with Coach Stewart? Yeah, he's super cool. He's super detailed. And just every day, all the corners, we're just learning from him. And he's just super intentional with what he teaches us. Has he been able to come in, even though it was you know, just a few months ago, and, and establish that relationship that you know is, is obviously important with the, with the room? Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's come in. He's a great leader, a great communicator. And we're all just learning from them every single day, just taking notes, just getting better. Raleigh, how much leadership are you taking on? I mean, like I said, you've been here a while. It's a veteran group back there, but there's a lot of young guys kind of pushing you guys. How much of a leadership role are you taking back there? Yeah, for sure. I think each and every day I'm just pushing the younger guys, pushing myself just to get, just to keep getting better and just keep uh, taking that, just to take that next step. I've got to be a leader in the room and lead by example and just constantly help the young guys get better. You have a lineage in your family of athletic success and football, whatever else. Uh, what, what, does that mean anything? Has that helped you along the way? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just seeing my older brother, he played at TCU, and just seeing him as a kid, and that just gave me my vision. So my vision was always to play D1 football. And then to see my little brother, he watched me and my older brother every day. So he's been under us. He's at UNT right now. And um, he's just constantly getting better. And it's just awesome to see uh, Anthony, who played at TCU, and Ridge at UNT. What you any crazy Phil Bennett story <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I, I don't think so yet. I mean, we all love Coach Bennett. Coach Bennett. Uh, extended the opportunity for me to play here at Baylor, and me, Ranthony Ridge, my whole family, we love Coach Bennett. How much you talk to your brothers about just playing DB? Yeah, um, shoot, we talk every day. We talk on the phone. I send them clips. Uh, we talk about just ways to get better, and it's just super fun that we all three just do the same thing. So it's awesome. So who is the owner of Tejada's Island? <laughs> <laughs> I guess myself, I mean. So Ranthony didn't start that? Okay. Um, Honestly, I think my dad started okay. that. Okay. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, my dad started it a couple <laughs> couple years ago. He he would go out there and say Tahada Island, and then it just kind of stuck. So it's kind of like what I'm going by now. So it's pretty cool. But your position is feast of famine sometimes, and, and there's times sometimes it may look like you may not have made a play, and a lot of it could be the coverage or whatever. How hard is it to be on that so-called island? Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. It's not an easy job. Uh, playing cornerback, especially in the Big 12, it's a challenge. Like, every time you step on the field, you can't let up for one play. So it's super fun, and shoot, 
I've been starting for three years now, and I just can't wait to get out there this year and just to show people what I can do again. What does the offense look like from your perspective? Uh, how different is it with <coughs> uh, maybe some of the keys for you? Yeah, um, I think the offense looks really good. I mean, every day I'm competing. I'm going out there trying to be my best, and they're trying to be their best. And I've seen a ton of improvement in them. And each and every day they work hard, just like the defense. So it's super fun to get to go against them every single day. You've been on some teams that have nearly won a Big 12 championship. You've been on teams that have won one game. What kind of a sense of chemistry, camaraderie, and focus do you sense from this team? Um, I sense a lot of chemistry. I have a whole lot of fun coming out here every single day. I have fun. I mean, all my teammates, I love them. And I feel like we're all super tight. And shoot, like you said, I've been on winning, I guess, winning teams and losing teams. And this team is very special. I love playing with them. It's fun. They're similar. The, the, the circumstances are different, 111 to 11 and 3, 2 and 7 from last year to whatever. Do you see similarities, though, in the bounce back opportunity, the bounce back year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I just see, honestly, right now, a team that works really hard and a team that each and every day just gives it their all. And it's just super fun to be a part of it.